Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's we're going to be reviewing this Chevy Silverado work truck. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and link you to the Carl Malone Chevy here in Park City, Utah for giving me some time with this truck. I'm going to include a link to the website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you're going to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a naturally aspirated 5.3 liter V8 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 15 around town and then 20 on the highway with power outputs being 355 horsepower and then 383 pound feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood design wise, pretty simplistic. Um, obviously the white kind of hides a lot of lines, but you guys can see kind of the bulge there in the center. And then being a work truck, we have these more baseline headlights here. And then notice how the grill is also darker. And then you guys can see the Chevy bow tie. And then we got tow hooks here at the bottom. And look at the coloration on the bumper too. Putting it all together, let me know your thoughts on the looks here of the work truck. But I think it actually looks pretty cool again for a work truck. Tire and wheel setup is 255, 70, 17 in the front and over in the rear. And you guys can see here with the wheels, again, a little bit more on the basic side of things. But again, it's it's a work truck. It's supposed to be. Also, notice got the Silverado badge here, and we do have some splash guards, also some side steps, which is pretty nice. And then notice the mirror caps and the door handles actually match. And then here's the full side view on the truck. You guys can see single cab with a longer bed. I mean, this is the ideal work truck configuration. Now, here's a quick look at our key fob. We have our lock and unlock function, drop down for the tailgate, and then you got the Chevy bow tie in the back. Now, when it comes to the bed, it is absolutely enormous. Again, it's pretty much all bed and just a little bit of cab with this particular truck. Um, but notice we got protection here from the factory which obviously helps out and then also on the tailgate as well and the tailgate itself is very light now you've got the more baseline tail lights you guys can see silverado badge there on the side and then look at the bumper steps with this and then i like the coloration there on the bumper and this is supposed to be uh, able to hold up better over time and putting it all together let me know what you guys think about the looks here on this work truck also uh, peep the uh, new gen mustang now popping inside you guys can see a little bit more basic from actually this is kind of padded <laughs> from a material standpoint again it's supposed to be easy to clean and then notice we've got an automatic window for the driver window you get your mirror adjustments right here here's a closer look at those controls and then you do have a little convex mirror right there to kind of help out with visibility and then when it comes to what this is all about so gross vehicle weight rating is 6900 pounds and then we have a payload capacity of 1872 pounds and then conventional towing is 9600 here's a look at the seats again cloth here all down the center. They are manually adjustable. We have our parking brake right here. We've got our light control here with the cargo light. Drive line selection. Notice we have our four-wheel auto, two-wheel high, four-wheel high, and then you have kind of like your hill climb assist, and then you have your trailer tow mode. Now taking a look at the steering wheel, a little bit more basic with the material use, but again, work truck life, right? Uh, it does have cruise control, but outside of that, there's no other controls in the steering wheel. You do have your turn signal windshield wiper stock, and then has a good old fashioned column shifter, plus and minus for the gears. And then here's a quick look at the gauge cluster, mostly analog. We do have this little screen here in the center, which we can use a dial, as you can see, to scroll through different bits of information. Definitely, definitely takes you back in time a little bit. In reverse, we do have a backup camera, which trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. Notice we also have the trailer tow line as well. Resolution of the camera is pretty solid. Now, as for the rest of the infotainment screen, um, first off, response time with it is really good. It's got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. A little bit of a smaller size, but I mean, it gets the job done. And then you guys can see here with the analog controls down below. And then look at the dash. Again, easy to clean, so that's good. Durable look too. Uh, single zone climate, by the way, for those of you that are wondering. And then you can see we've got this for the lane departure, auto stop, start, tailgate, drop down, hazard lights, stability control, and then you've got a bunch of like little charging action here. Trailer brake controls integrated from the factory too. And then here is the center console, so you guys can see the storage there, a nice padding here on the top, cup holder action. Turns out to be a seat, and then you've got more storage underneath as well, which is kind of a nice thing to have. And while we're on the topic of storage, we actually do have the double glove box. So they both have lids, which is nice. And then on top we got a manual mirror dimmer, and then this is fixed. So here's a quick look at the window sticker for this Silverado. $41,000 base MSRP, and then you guys can see the options added to this. It has the G80 locking rear differential. $48,450 is the total MSRP on this after options. Let's see how it drives. Well, 
well, let's talk about visibility before we set off here in this work truck. Here's visibility over the hood, both the mirrors. And then really good visibility out of the back when you have a single cab. That's one thing I do love about single cab trucks is their visibility is fantastic. But yeah, resolution with the camera, by the way, really good. It does help out quite a bit. But even though this is a single cab, because you have the longer bed, it is still a pretty big beast, but not too shabby at all. And yeah, pretty easy to maneuver. Not the tightest space ever, but you know, it's something, right? It is definitely something. Um, so yeah, let's set off and see kind of how this performs with the 5.3 V8. And I'm trying to do more uh, reviews on vehicles like this. I know this is uh, not the normal fully loaded pickup truck, but you know, I know there's quite a few people that are researching into more, you know, work truck options like this. Good torque. Out of the 5.3. Now, if you don't know, we're at about 7,000 feet elevation um, up here. So, pretty high elevation. I mean, I, I doubt, I, I'm sure some of you live at this elevation or higher, but most of you watching this probably don't, <laughs> right? So, this will give us a pretty good idea of how this performs at, in a more strenuous environment, I guess is a good way to put it. But ride quality is pretty good. So I think that's a big plus. And it, it drives, it just drives well. It really does. Pretty quiet too. Seats are, um, you know, they're not uncomfortable, but they're definitely slightly harder in normal Chevy fashion, I guess is the way to put it. But they're, they're actually, I feel like they might be more comfortable than before, but they, yeah, it's, it's all reasonable. Got a little bump over that with these uh, leaf springs here. Oh, I did my turn signal way too early there. Okay, now we'll do it. <laughs> I kind of like mentally did it because this other Chevy did it and I'm like, I'm following them. Oh, this is cool. It's got like a big pothole here. So this will be a good thing to, yeah, test the little suspension. Yeah, they need to redo their parking lot here, but it's good for us to be able to see how this does over that. Anyways, turning around and heading out, we'll have to go through the pothole of doom yet again. So that's the little one. Here's a bigger one. Oh, I guess I mi kind of missed it. Yeah, it, it does It does a pretty good job. It does a pretty good job. Yeah, good torque. Really good torque. So yeah, I think this drives well. The long bed definitely helps out. Like if this was a shorter wheelbase, it might kind of make it the ride a little bit uncomfortable, but because this has such a long wheelbase, it, it definitely helps out with the ride quite a bit. It's yeah, it makes it, it makes it, it makes it a little bit more comfortable. Um, yeah, aside from that, I mean, I think it's a, I think it's pretty, I mean, this is pretty bougie for a work truck <laughs> with, uh, I mean, this is crazy now. He's like, you gotta have a touch screen, all this other stuff in work trucks um, nowadays. And tailgate drop down too. I mean, it's a nice, it's a nice item to have. Um, but I, I do think that some people that are looking for more of a bare bones work truck might delete some of the options that this has. But either way, let me know what you guys think about the uh, work truck. Let me know what you think about this configuration. Do you like how this one is set up or are there some options that you would uh, add or change from this.